Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur and friends. Oh, how cute. They all look so cute. Look at them. They're so cute. Anyway, uh, last time we uh, kept up with the prologue. We are just about Follow to come over lead. here. We finally did a... Um, we, we're specking into Iconoclast, which we actually already have one in. Above the thundering guns. What is that? The rogue trader and two random allies start combat with temporary wounds equal to their own resolve. Okay. I don't know what. Oh, my resolve is right here. Number seven. Resolve influences how efficiently and how and for long characters can fight in battle. Oh. It determines the amount of momentum gained at the end of each turn or after killing an enemy. Okay. So I have seven. I don't know if that's more than base because everyone else has five. But yeah, we uh, we told the ghost of Theodore to go fuck herself, Lamau. Time. And we're moving on. Too late. We are too late. Or perhaps Edelthrad and his escort never made it here, which would be even worse. Or they could be fighting on the bridge as we speak, without us. Well, here comes all the people I saved. My lord, I beg your pardon for interrupting. The people are asking for orders. You came back to save us. So now we will follow you through thick and thin. Good. To the bridge. If Edelthrad is there, then he requires immediate assistance. I say there is one thing that I find most troubling. The Lord Captain's Voxcasts. They are still coming in, even though it would make sense for Lady Theodora to be on the bridge right now, at the head of the counter-assault. I feel uneasy. What if the Lord Captain is besieged in her own chambers? With your permission, I suggest that we confirm for ourselves that she is not. We can use the same elevator that Lady Theodora and Mort headed for earlier. Okay, cool. Reach the secret lift. Do we follow them or no? No, uh, it looks like we're going this way. Is there anything? There's goods over here. Aha, you thought I wouldn't see that. Propane and propane accessories. Cool. All right, I let's... I won't tolerate weakness. Hmm. Oh, uh, there's the door I want to open. Probably, maybe. More than likely. Is there anything over I'll here? Claim to the stars. Nope. That way's fire. Okay. Open the door. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Was it? Oh, secret. Cool. More propane and Necronomicon accessories? No. Nah. Hilt guards. Interesting. None shall stand in my way. Oh, there's more down here. Another door to open here. With more goods. Holy shit, look at all this stuff that we're getting that I have no idea what we're doing with or what it even means. A new challenge for Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice when that happens? Oh, some more goggles. Okay, sure. Uh who do we want to give that to? Because that gives plus three logic. I guess I'll give it to myself. Logic is what? Uh, affected by character intelligence characteristic. It makes the character's rational arguments more convincing and allows to notice any logical inconsistencies in other people's words. Also, it helps to operate cognitor... Cognitor... Co you know, <laughs> computers <laughs> more effectively uh, may give access to new dialogue options. Okay, cool. So why can't I? Oh, I need to have all that and I don't have any of those. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You have bonus perception. Is that from your staff? I don't know what that's coming from. The plus five and the plus ten. Okay. Well, now I got some snazzy glasses. He's so cute. 
Look all snazzy. Okay. This computer is not anything. Let's go to the secret Victory lift. Awaits. Victory awaits indeed. Lord Captain's quarters. Hello? Anyone there? Holy shit, that's a bathroom. There's a fucking swimming pool. Cool. Anything in here? It's about time. Doesn't look like it. Anything in the bathroom? Can I go in the bath? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh well. I won't tolerate it. It was it was a good try. Ooh, sweeping in like a fucking Final Fantasy dungeon. Oh damn. She did. She's just eating a burger with too much ketchup, bro. We gotta save her. Hold on, there's goods over here. Another helmet. Dogmatic follower. Oh, requires dogmatic follower. Uh, this helmet grants its wearer immunity to enemy critical hits for the first three rounds of combat. Well, that's cool. Uh, I think she's dogmatic. Isn't she? She is. So she gets the cool golden helmet. Follow my lead. Theodora von Valencia's body sprawled on the large blood drenched chat desk. The arch militant's corpse, still clutching a weapon, is slumped against one of the bulkheads. Emperor, oh, I guess that was this guy. Not a breath. It Damn. was. It was so loud. Why didn't I foresee this? Oh. Uh, Lord Captain. Who would even dare? Unless that rat, Voidfear. Uh, I doubt it. He wished. Humiliation and suffering upon Theodora, not a swift death. It could have happened in the heat of battle. Not to mention that Mort was here, and he would have protected Lady Theodora to the last. Is that Mort? Oh yeah, it is. The guy with the big flamethrower. How could Mort have failed her so terribly? The Arch Militant was born on a death world. He had lightning-fast reflexes. <laughs> it's okay, let it out. I, I can look at things in my own way. If you find something, something that might bear the imprint of the killer, just give it to me, and I'll try to see what secrets it holds. Examine her body. You lean closer to the body, the cause of death is apparent. What ended the rogue trader's life was an auto pistol shot. An extraordinarily accurate one at that. Theodora's face bears an expression of surprise. The last emotion she experienced in life. Something on the floor catches your eye. A heap of blood spattered parchments and scrolls that have been f fallen off her de that have fallen off her desk. As you lean down for a closer look, you notice something. You notice something else. Small shards of glass scattered on the floor. Why don't you touching Theodora? Might be able to see the killer through her eyes. It doesn't work like that. I can try to read the memories of objects. Okay. But dead bodies are a different story. Something like that would require her soul. And after what we saw on the officer's deck, I won't risk searching for it in a warp. True enough. Let's examine the Arch Militant's body. I gotta casually walk all the way over there. An auto pistol shot went straight through Mort's forehead, spraying the floor and the furniture around it with blood, brain matter, and shards of his skull. The safety of the Arch Militant's weapon is off. 
The killer must have been a split second quicker than he. Inspect the shards on the desk. Gotta, again, I, gotta, I just gotta mosey my way over there, dude. Uh, it's difficult to say what exactly was broken. The object fell on the floor, and that is as much as you can ascertain. Upon closer examination, the shards appear iridescent rather than completely transparent, as if they had been submerged in Prometheum, a broad term for combustible fuel in the Imperial of Man. Okay. Uh... What do these shards tell you? I see streaks of color, luminescence, blue lights, faces drawing closer. Lady Theodora and Kunrad and what is that? Ah! Something dark, enormous. Oh, this glass thing was something foul, that's for sure. Oh. Tainted witchcraft. Cannot tell if Argenta's remark is directly at the shards or at Adira herself. Inspect the papers. Handwritten letter with a seal. That's it, that's all it is, okay. Reports, accounts, dispatches, you go over the scroll until you stumble upon a document that is starkly different than the rest. A handwritten letter signed with the initials XC and a seal with a symbol of vaguely familiar to you. Imperium test. Oh, they sick. And sends a shiver down your spine. The author of the letter is Theodore von Valentia signed it with the seal of one of the holy orders of the empire's inquisition secret organization tacked with hunting down a myriad of yeah they're inquisitors obviously <laughs> the secret police of the imperium that relentlessly hunts heretics xenos and other enemies of humanity we had best be on our way yes the crucible of battle calls to me once more no wait we must see if we can find anything idira idira you can't bring her back let her go you'd give up so easily old man i expected as much from the sister it's not like she has a heart but you oh no i'll get to the bottom of this i'll find the one responsible for murdering the lord captain and when I do, that scum will regret the day they were born. Okay, cool. Oh, there's goods, though. Oh, ho, ho, hold up. Theodora's rosary. That doesn't look like a rosary. The wearer of this amulet gains plus 10 to commerce and Imperium lore. That is good to have. Let me check this first. Rogue Trader's Cloak. Plus five fellowship for each enemy within a two radius cell. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Oh, excuse me. So. Let's put on this cape. I don't know where exactly we put the cape on. Which, oh, the cape slot. Duh, the one that's highlighted. Durr. Hell yeah. Look at all these bonuses. Hell yeah. Esteemed Theodora. Uh, how do I... Info? Ah. Esteemed Theodora, change in circumstances has demanded your immediate assistance with our in our mutual cause. Forthwith, upon receiving this letter and performing the nex necessary preparations uh, of the crew, you were to depart for the Rikad system. One of my acolytes, interrogator Heinrichs von Kalox, uh, operates there at the present time. Until Upon your arrival in the system, you will, without delay, make contact with him and offer any assistance required of you, after which you will provide him passage to the Flubber system aboard your ship. Upon footfall, I'm just kidding. On footfall, the interrogator 
will remove himself from the from your presence to await further instructions anticipating any questions you may have i will stress that the nature of the of interrogator interrogator von klaxa cloaks kalax i don't know uh activities on riker's minoris minoris uh is no concern to you if required he himself will disclose the details of his mission may the emperor emperor's light be with you x c okay i'll lay claim to the stars anything in here oh is that where i need to go Holy shit! Who the fuck is this guy? Combat Servitor. And he's at half health. Okay, so... Argenta... I'm gonna place you right here. You can blast the fuck out of all those guys, dude. Holy shit, that is such a good position for her. I'm gonna put Abelard up front. Psyker and Wilbur go into the back. I think that's good. Light and medium armor. Armor protects a character from incoming damage. Light and medium armor types are both available at you at the to you at the moment. The armor that the armor stat indicates the percent of incoming damage from an at enemy attack it can absorb. The type of armor influences the chances of the character wearing it will pass a dodge test. Uh, the higher the Dodge penalty, the lower the chance the enemy dodge. Okay. Character with light armor dodges attacks more often, but takes more damage when hit. Medium armor absorbs more damage, but the, if the character is hit, it reduces mobility and... Okay, agility, yeah. Uh, some towers allow you... Okay, that's fine. I, I get that. So... Damn. If I could get right there... That would have been good. Um, I'm going to go right here. Well, I should stay out of the line of fire until Argenta can get there. So I will go here, and then I will cleave My place is here. at the hall. I took care of this one. Okay, that's good. And then I can charge... Mm, should I charge though? Is the question. I think I'll buff up. Uh, all incoming damage is reduced. Let's do that. Yeah, that's fair. Now you, I'm gonna put you out on you so you can just buff yourself. Already done. I'm just gonna buff the shit out of her. And then she instantly gets two turns here. So let's go with perfect. Oh my god, look how perfect that is. Commands, I act. is All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm going to wait on that. Wilbur, you still got a shot. Why don't you take a shot at him? Okay, fair enough. Not who I was aiming for, but that works. You encounter enemies with various abilities and features, an icon next to the enemies. Portrait indicates that they are under the influence of some kind of effect. Okay. Okay, so I can just go right here and look at them. Okay, cool. So, would now be the time for the shotgun? I would say so. Faith without deeds is worth I am the tempest. Oh my lord. Dirty dude. Oh, that was so dirty. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god. Doubt Fuck it, let's weak. do this. I'll do A it. run and gun. I'll get right up in his fucking face. Uh, actually, I can just 
Oh, I can't do that. That's right. Okay. As the Emperor commands, I act. Well, <laughs> so much for that. Okay, holy shit, that was so good. Uh, let's put down some exploits here. So let's expose weakness to him. Uh, let me see here. What is this? Heavily damaged. Okay. Uh, the servitor is heavily damaged. Its damage, hit chance, and wounds are greatly reduced. Okay. And then we will do this. On it. That's good. That's good. Now this does seven to six. This does... How much damage does it do? Six. So we will do this one. Anything is. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, it looks like he's going to hit her. Ooh, two damage, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Come on, dog. Let's fucking charge his ass. And then we'll fucking thwack him. Should we bleed him? Fuck it, we're bleeding him. Combat log. Yeah, I get that. Oops. Hold on one second. That was scary. I almost deleted the recording. Um, I will give you Not another turn. Specialty. Target is too far. Okay. Let me go right here and then give you Forge that. Ahead. And then I can do another bleed. Did the bleed stack? Let's check. Bleed does not stack. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh my god, I keep fucking this up. Oh, sorry. My, uh... My fucking... Mouse keeps going to the other computer. Uh, I do have a f I have 30 HP, which I have 23, but goddamn, I get a lot from. Suits my yeah, fuck, it. fuck you. I'll pass. Um, Nothing I'll do that I to him. Do. All right, Argenta. You are disappointing me right now. We'll just psychic what? him again. That should what kill him. An, what an unfortunate turn of fate. Okay. We've got a bunch of goodies from here. Whoa, what is that? Grace of the Oblivious. Uh, the wearer gains plus five toughness if their intelligence is less than 35. That is hilarious, actually. And we all leveled up way. from that. So let me do that. Uh, huh. So I get officer, uh, the officer grants an ally an extra turn with full AP and MP. During the extra turn, there is no attack limit. Ooh, that's sexy. Ah, uh, but that's a finest hour. That's, uh, I'm assuming a momentum thing. Like, that's when we have really good momentum. Okay, and in this, I know I want to go with... There is something... Chain Weapon Expert? But we need... Dueling Mastery? Uh, no, that's Parry Chance. Uh... Dual weapon combat. That's what I'm looking for. Character can attack with the second weapon to their current weapon set in additional to usual one to Yeah, so we're going to take that so that we can shoot again with our gun if we don't have any buffs to put up. So he gets Daring Breach. The warrior immediately restores all AP and MP and gains agility bonus MP. Uh, until the end of their turn. Until the end of the turn. Uh, their 
They don't lose the MP by after performing attacks. The more warrior has no limit on melee weapon attacks. Oh, that's so sick, dude. Okay. Um, is this like a level up button? Um, I think, give me a second to go over this. Ooh, this one seems cool. If the warrior, if there are no enemies adjacent to the warrior at the start of the turn, the warrior's damage. Oh, but should we also get two weapon fighting for him? He might. Hmm, he might switch over to a double-handed something, you know, if it does more damage. I think I'll hold off on getting dual weapon stuff, but this definitely seems good. If no one's around him, like if he kills everyone around him and then, uh, oh, at the start of his turn. Okay. Yeah, that would mean that, no, that's actually not that good then. Ooh, just straight up increasing charge distance, I think is good. We'll see. That's what I'm going to apply for now, though. Now, for you, the operative immediately inflicts one exploit to all enemies in combat, the neck, then makes a free attack against a target. That attack always hits. Until the end of combat... Oh, shit. Uh, until the end of combat, the target of this attack suffers a 30% penalty to dodge and 30% penalty to armor. God. Damn, these are good. Now with her, instant expose. Expose costs no AP. Ooh, that's pretty fucking good. We could do that first. I think I'm going to do that. Instant exposure. That's cool. That's neat. That's nifty. Now you, the soldier gains the ability to make a number of attacks of extra attacks equal to their weapon's rate of fire, minimum two, uh, using the weapon's attack that normally costs the least AP. Oh. These attacks do not spend all AP. Oh, don't spend AP at all. Uh, until the end of the soldier's turn, their first attack against a new enemy automatically scores a critical hit. The soldier immediately reloads their current weapon. Ooh, 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 that is so fucking tasty. That's so good. Rapid reload. Reloading costs two less AP. Uh, does that... First reload of combat does not cost AP. Uh, that's not that good. I haven't really had any things like that. For each adjacent ability... Uh, no. No. For each adjacent ally, the soldier deals bonus more damage to enemies. Okay, so if we surround her, but that's not very uh, easy to do. I mean, I'm sending her out, you know. Fired up whenever the soldier deals damage, their critical damage is increased by one until the end of combat. Cover efficiency is increased by 10% for full cover and 20 for... That's cool. Ooh, combat medicate though. Being able to heal. Your Medicaid is 35. I think having another person that can heal is pretty good, but... Ah, damn. I just don't think that's the play for sure. I'm struggling on this. I think giving her cover is good, but I want something more usable, I guess. The soldier gains... Critical hit chance, this bonus is doubled against enemies from which the soldier is protected by cover at the moment of attack. That sounds pretty good. Plus their agility. I can't even see her agility. Oh, her agility is 50, actually. Oh, that's really good. Really, really solid. Okay, well, that's enough for leveling up. Let us continue onward. Is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Victory awaits. Let's go to the bridge, baby. And look at that, everyone's dead. There's goods though. Some propane. Done. Horrific vision is a product of the warp 
energies that per permeate the bridge. Oh, cutscene. sacrifice opens the eye. The second sacrifice draws its gaze. Yo, we're here. Help has arrived. Too late to change the tide, I'm afraid, but if there is any honor in you, we can at least die with dignity and give our lives for the rogue traitor. Uh, Von Valencia is dead. I found her and her arch militant in her study. God Emperor, preserve us. The rogue trader is dead. The ship has lost her Lord Captain and the house and the head of his house and the house head. Uh, no matter what ritual he is performing there, the warp is too strong. I can't withstand it. I feel my body changing with every second. The warp ringing in the air. This is the end. We will perish in the warp along with the warrant and all the destiny's heirs. Dynasty's heirs, uh, the enemy of humanity has triumphed. I've seen it before. We'd we'd better get away from him. The changes are already accelerating. I forbid the very thought of yielding. Only the only by resigning to your fate will you truly suffer defeat. That's pretty corralling. The ship is steeled out of the warp. It can still be steered, steered out of the warp, but we must first restore communication between the bridge and the navigator's sanctum. Never give up hope. Then we have no right to bow our heads. That's what I'm fucking talking about. You can see him clearly in the gloom of the bridge. The broken blade he's holding is stained with dark droplets. Dark drops that seem to have pearlescent glimmer to them. Pearlescent glimmer, glimmer to them. We are out of time. Edelthard bites his knuckles, desperately thinking. You see a wave ripple across the whites of Edelthrad's eyes, and they begin to turn sickly yellow party ready your weapons if we die this day let us die with honor no wilbur to die altogether is to allow the flame of the dynasty to perish in the dark no it will not be like this not today the ritual cannot be completed will not be completed i'll take care of it and you see to it that the void ship breaks free of the warp watch over our realm and farewell a cursed traitor, it's time... <laughs> a time will come when you will bleed for her ladyship Theodora's murder. Remember my words, for they are the vow of he who marches towards his death. What? Theodora is dead? No, that can't be. Not now. I still haven't... Your ritual won't be finished, heretic! <laughs> well, it seems like you finished it. Oh yeah, he's a psyker, huh? That's not good. And he turned into Suffer a giant muster. I'll turn you into corpse starch. To use unique ability calls heroic tasks or desperate measures, momentum is required. Depending on the actions of your party in combat, the momentum bar will increase or decrease. The high Momentum value allows a character to use heroic acts. A low grants them to use desperate measures. Both abilities can be complete can completely change the course of battle, but every party member can either use one or the other, and only once in a single combat. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We got Deck Enforcer. We actually have some allies then. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of those guys, and then the big guy. Okay. Uh, so Wilbur, should I put you over here to take care of this guy? I don't know if that's gonna work. I'll put you over here in high cover. Uh, Abelard, get your ass in there. 
Argenta, maybe we want over here. And in her, we definitely want... Well, no, I think I'll switch. Oops. No. Go right there. That seems good. Enemy statuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we read that before. Okay. So you serve me, Avalon. No line of sight on the target. I don't have line of sight on anyone. Son of a bitch. Well, that sucks. Well, then I'm going right here. I'll have line of sight on a ton of people. Uh, Avalon will sell me. I'll just buff this shit out of them. Uh, it doesn't give any... No movement points, so I'll wait on that. And I will try to take out some of these other guys. There we go. And then I get to attack again. All too easy. Opposing me oh, your beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Now. Argenta. Now, if I move you over here and then do the blast like that, that seems good. Or I can shotgun them. I can shotgun them for a big blast. That seems I good. I bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Nice, dude. Fuck yeah. Grants momentum. Ah, but see, I've already got my other thing ready. Uh, I'm not going to spend it right now. Oh, I probably should. There's only two enemies left, it seems. Yeah, there's only two heretics and then the chaos spawn. So maybe I should do it. Power resides in the will of the righteous. Faith without only do eight damage. That sucks. And then I can't use that, so I gotta use this. For the weak, but you, my emperor. And then if I run and gun, gives me. So if I go here and I As run and gun, commands, I act. and then I can go over here, and then I'll have shots on this guy. Should I even worry about him? Guided by faith. Yeah. She needs the kills to get her thing going here. All right. I'll do it. Yeah, that seems good. Seems like a good turn. Okay, well, that's not good. Rendering screen. Holy shit. He hits like a fucking truck, eh? He's bleeding. Abelard... Didn't really do much to him, it seems. Let's charge. And then we can bleed. It will be done. Gray hair, sure hair. And then Victory we can is imminent. brace for impact. Okay, it's a good thing we took down all those uh anything else? Those ads, because then he can't heal off them, which is super good. Analyze Thank enemy. You. We will slap everything on this man. Uh, I don't need to do that, but I will do on this. It. Cool. Oof. Oh, Abelard's fucking fine, dude. 
It's okay. Not everybody can be as cool as us. Extra turn with full AP and MP. Okay. So let's give him... He's too far. What is the range on that? Or can I just give it to her? Nothing I can't do. If I give it to you, you can. I'm not so sure. Oh, he's already under that condition. Okay, cool. We'll do. Okay, well that works. I'll pass. Not a problem for me. Voice commands, and I will shoot the shit out of you. Never mind. I will end my turn. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it all over again. Oh, I can give any of them full turns. Ooh. So if I go here. That just straight up gives her a new turn, eh? So I'm going to go right here. Characters of melee block. Okay, yeah, 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 I get that. Why can't I attack? What did it say? This, this ability cannot be used when there are melee armed enemies adjacent. Okay, so then go there, though. You'll take an opportunity to attack. But then I can just fucking shoot the shit out of you. Well, I might as well use... Shotgun does more damage, right? Oh, that's right. There's no attack. Oh, uh, there's no attack uh, penalty, so I should just be doing I'll this. Do oh, I should have saved one for that. Oh, well. She's going to get another turn right now anyway. Six to ten, though. It's not really that good. Ten to fifteen. God, Emperor, move through me. Be the Ooh, fire in my twenty-four. Heart. Okay. That is for the weak. Damn. Almost. Sure, one of these other guys can take him out. Imagine. Oh my God, he stole our glory. But damn. First boss fight down. There's goods. What is this? A blade shard. A blade made by a from a mysterious metal that shimmers with unnatural colors. Got some gloves. Whenever the wearer of these gloves gets an injury or falls unconscious in combat, their allies gain a plus one to damage. Wow. Mantle of Heroism requires Iconoclast, which is us. Each heroic act used in battle increases the wearer's dodge by 20% until the end of combat. Max 60%. That's pretty good. That can go on Wilbur for sure. I don't think that the uh, plus five fellowship for each enemy in the radius like that's not very good i don't know what this is for but this is those two are very important and then you bonus to tech use uh actually let's put that on oh we leveled up again no fucking shot okay so fellowship willpower toughness weapons skill ballistic skill what is my ballistic skill Ooh. plus four my ballistic skill uh, is not... Oh, it's 40. I think I want to go another 5 for Fellowship. Get it to 60. It's pretty good. And then Chain Weapon Expert. Chain Weapon Attacks gain plus 4 maximum damage. That's what I wanted. That's perfect. Apply. Uh... Huh. Now this, Contempt, Enrage, Desolation, Thick Skin. 
warrior grants plus one damage deflection. Their parry chance increases by 25% of the warrior's total armor. So his total armor is 30. That'll give him one deflection and then gives him seven parry. That's pretty good. And then weapon skill, I guess, is... We can do strength. Does that increase his attack? Ooh, but weapon skill makes his parry 82% to parry. Yo, that's fucking insane. Let's build that up. He cannot be touched by fucking uh, melee guys, I guess. All right. What is her name? <laughs> I keep fucking forgetting how to pronounce it. Uh, let's see. Perception or intelligence? Your perception is already really good. Let's keep pumping that. And then for you, in two movement points, that'd be good just to get out of dodge. Uh, Nimble's actually really good. What does that make her... 80% to dodge? That's not bad. I'll take that. And then you... Ballistic skill, I think, is... The play. Get that to 50. Rack and rain. Rapidly reload. I don't know if that's good. I think it is, though. Fired up. Whenever they deal damage. Ooh, so that... With the shotgun, potentially, is that, like, spread damage? That'd be cool. Interesting. We'll try that. Okay. Now, is that all there is? It's about time. Can't get over there. Oh, okay. We can go back here now. Yeah. Raver, Master Helmsman. System status report. By the Emperor, it's the Seneschal. <laughs> Living and breathing. Well, there's a tricky question. The whole place is overgrown with foul wickedry. We'll be scrubbing it off the vid screens for throne knows how long. The throne knows how long. How did you people survive in here? We didn't reestablish. We need to re. How did you survive in here? Must have been prov providence. It's better ha. It better have been the Emperor's, not someone else's. Uh, when they barged in here, the ones with the Master of Whispers, some officers, charged them, but it wasn't even a fight. I grabbed whoever I could and dragged them behind the, the computers. God, I'm going to have to fucking... <laughs> then I prayed for the rescue. We need to reestablish contact with the na Navigator's Sanctum. It is our only way of escaping the warp. Your words seem to knock the officers in out of their stupor. And the air around you fills with voices and commands being issued. You hear someone sobbing. One of the survivors buckling under the stress. Abelard cuts the cuffs the crying officer without even looking. <laughs> Restore the Vox channel to the navigator's sanctum. Ready the crew. Prepare for translation to real space. Wilbur. You may call me superstitious, but translation is not a good time to disregard rules. You're the only one who speaks for House Von Valencius. You may not be the Lord Captain, but you may... But you, more than anyone else, deserve to take your place in the ritual that is about to commence. What must I do? Take the Lord Captain's seat. Order the final preparations, wait for the officers to report, blah, blast it, bah, blast it, all the, vo the void. Translation is a craft, not something that can be explained in a trick, in a tick. Just go up to the throne, Master Wilbur. They're, these people are about to do the impossible. The least they deserve is some solace of seeing a figure sitting in the usual spot. spot. 
please hurry. Every second we waste here is a terrible risk. I'm ready to begin the ritual. Hell yeah. The big throne. The big stupid wheel. What is that? <laughs> That's funny. The image before you is hazy, swaying in sorcerousness. Sorceress. Yeah. Convert. Cur fuck. Sorcerer's cur currents, invisible to moral eyes. As if whatever is breathed beneath this thin shell is constantly changing while still remaining the same. It has taken the guise of Theodora, but the false rogue trader's eyes reveal the entity's true surreal nature. One of Theodora's eyes is engulfed in otherworldly fire. The other, a vessel of ancient evil, bores into you. A voice seeps directly into your brain without ever reaching your ears. And the voice booms with all the horrors of the warp. Who are you oppo to oppose destiny itself for the sake of lives that are not your own? So many threads stretch between you and the other creatures of the world. Pitiful, worthless links ready to shatter at the slightest touch. A muddled, erratic, pointless tangle. It resonates and merges with the voices that have already dug in their foul roots into your consciousness. A moment later, you realize that all these voices are the myriad manifestations of the same call that have finally invaded your mind. Uh, you are to blame for Theodora's death. I am saving my people. Do your worst, but you cannot stop me. That sounds good. Lead them, mortal. Guide them. Persuade them. Force them to walk your path. You need followers. You will need followers for death and destiny is preordained. The aspirant vowed to return with a trophy. A relic that could serve the edge of daybreak. The fact was assured that the steps chosen and the steps chosen. And yet you broke the unbreakable breakable, <laughs> the unbreakable uh, when you took the aspirant's place. I see you. On the day when the final dawn rises over the iron world, I will see I will see I see you by my side on that day, the day of my resurrection. Your image is woven into a tap tapestry of things to come. I am the will of the weaver of destinies, and today I will weave a new thread of elusive possibilities and fickle chances. The thread that will lead you out of the maw of irreversibility. The thread that will help you find the keys to salvation. The thread that will guide you and the weapon of our return to me. The path is set, child of dawn. The thread is woven. Follow it, servant of mine. Seneschal, the navigator sanctum is silent. The Vox signal is stable, which means... Mm. Need a drink. Uh, the navigator gave his life battling the storm that nearly claimed the Von Valencia flagship. We will honor his memory along with all that died this day. Seneschal, will you... Tell us now who is that? Where's the Lord Captain? As First Officer, it is my duty to inform you with the greatest regret and indelible sorrow that Lord Captain Theodora von Falancius is dead. May her memory never fade from the annals of the dynasty. By right of blood succession and with the absence of other kin who could challenge this decision, it is hereby declared that the successor to Theodora von Valencius is her heir, the rightful inheritor of the Warrant of Trade, and the title of Rogue Trader. The official ascension ceremony will be held at a later time. In the interim... Uh, have you lost your tongues? Hail your lord! It is because of his toils that we all still live. The deed is done, Master. In my apologies. I meant to say Lord Captain. Yo, we did it. 
Yo, cool art style. The treachery of the Master of Whispers was fruitless, but victory came at a great cost. Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius perished along with her heir, Edelthrad, and thousands of crew members. Yo, we in and out, boys. Well, then, your lordship. Cannot help but notice the Seneschal does not know how to talk to you <laughs> or where to begin. His hesitation brings an involuntarily smirk, involuntary smirk to your face as though someone else entirely is gloating at the old officer's confusion. Seeing your smile, Abelard pulls himself together. You must now hold your first officer's briefing in the role in your new role as Lord Captain. For many of those who are about to join us on the bridge, this will also be their first briefing. We sustain massive losses among the, the senior and middle ranking officers. Uh, some posts had to be filled by the deputy's deputy's deputy, while others go unfulfilled entirely. And now the deck plans are deciding who will take over the leader's leaderless crews. Uh, how do we come to lose so many officers? What is the agenda of this meeting? Have you succeeded in tracking down what's his face? Uh, I did not wish to be road trader. You know what? Let's start the summons off. With a gesture, Abelard re re relays the orders to the adjudicant. Adjudant? At the far end of the magnificent chamber. Yo, that guy looks sick. A dozen pairs of eyes bore into you, the expression revealing restraint, joy, curiosity, and wariness. Attention, officers, you've been given granted an honor. Lord Captain Wilbur von Valencius will personally conduct today's briefing. Our most gracious Lord Captain is ready to hear your reports. Perhaps you would introduce those present, Abelard, as you wish, your lordship. I'm not even going to fucking attempt any of this shit of the Toyman line. <laughs> Our new Vox Master. It's an honor to serve your lordship. Aboard this vessel, you can you have at your command thousands of crew members and hundreds of officers and section chiefs. I am responsible for receiving, processing, and sending all communications between you and them, as well as external sources. I am your eyes and mouth, Lord Captain. Beside her is Ra Raver, Master Helmsman. He steers the ship along the course set by the Lord Captain and monitors the void around us to ensure that we do not stray into an asteroid field or a pirate trap. Hail, Lord Captain. This here ship's as good as home to me, so rest assured she's in safe hands. I'll die before I let her come to any grief. And lastly, that dude who observes <laughs> supplies, procurement, and general material well-being for the ship. It's an honor, your lordship. You may trust me with all matters concerning your comfort. Everything will be done in the highest standard. In the second row, we have three officers charged with overseeing the ship's vital functions. The Master of Ordnance is responsible for all artillery aboard. The Inferous Master, whose crew work to prevent and extinguish fires on the ship. And lastly, Drives Master, servant of the Omnissiah. Omnissiah is a supernatural entity, a god 
of knowledge worshipped by the Adeptus Mechanicus. That's this guy right here, I'm assuming. Because he's, uh, uh, he's a tech priest of Mars. Three officers salute you. The Infernus Master does so with confidence, while the Master of Ordnance betrays nervousness. The Drives Master offers a salute resembling a dance involving complicated manipulation of all the text priests mechorindes tentacle like robot limb prosthetics surgically attached to the spine thank you abelard greetings to all of you i serve at your pleasure lord captain okay let's hear the infernus master support yes lord captain I can report that all fires across all decks have now been extinguished. The preliminary, preliminary damage assessment in terms of material losses and crew casualties have been completed. The results have been submitted to the Seneschal and High Factorium. The post passed to him after the other dude, his first three deputies expired in the line of duty. The lad is managing well so far. He can take the heat, so to speak. Uh, what about you, High Factorum? We all toil day and night to compel, uh, compile a full account of the losses. The task will require next to no involvement from your lordship. I will personally ensure that all damage components are given into the text priest's hands for attention and that all lost supplies are replaced. There is only one resource that I can, I cannot replenish single-handedly, and that is people. We have lost more than 2,000 crew member, and unfortunately this number is not confined to the scum from the lower decks, which are easily replaced, but also including trained professionals. We will be able to, to make up our losses on the nearest planet, Riker Minus, Mineris. Uh, Menorahs? Regard Menorahs? However, the planet, the whole system, in fact, belongs to the Winterscale Road Trader Dynasty. We cannot simply begin recruiting on the planet without first coming to an understanding with the governor. And that respect, I, and in that respect, I am powerless. Negotiations at this level are a matter for Rogue Trader. Okay. Especially true given uh, Winter Scale's penchant for attacking first and asking questions later. The kind of thick skulled thugs he usually entails installs as governors on his planets. Okay, Drive Master, I will hear from you now. Lord Captain, the foes that set upon this noble void ship destroyed the repositories of uh, hundreds of machine spirits. The great warp engine and and thrusted into my charge is unharmed, thank the Omnissaya, but its spirit mourns its dead brethren. We have not yet identified a prayer protocol capable of a, a, a fuck, a suging? I don't even know. It's sorrow and anger. With great sorrow, I must also report that the engineer, engine seer prime tech priest whose specialization is maintaining and repairing the sacred machines uh oversee that spiritual authority of the all tech priests on board fell in battle the magos was betrayed by the little flesh that remained on part of him the most terrible loss there is no one more no one among my comrades aboard whose experience and comprehension of the sacred protocols equals to that of the fallen magus. Magos? Uh, we require replacement as soon as possible. I see. Thank you. Tech Priest Bowserhead. Master Helmsman? Right you are, Lord Captain, to cut this long story short. The outlook is bleak. The ships sound more or less, but without the engineer primer and the navigator who fell in battle, we have no way out of this system. If we try to set so much as a toe inside the warp, I don't know what will happen first. Our warp drive being torn to pieces or all of us mentally or all of us melting into the bulkheads. Your Lordship, if you will allow me to interject, when we arrive in this system, 
My crew followed standard protocols and conducted a count of all available communication channels in the region. One of them was a Navis Nobleite station. An ancient organization of noble mutant families whose genes allow them to safely guide warp-capable void ships through the inner immaterium. The station maintains complete Vox silence, but even its presence here inspires hope. To have located a navigator in very same system is an incredible stroke of luck. A true blessing of the God Emperor. I am the will of weave. I am the will of the Weaver of Destinies, and today I will weave new thread of elusive possibilities and fickle chances. The thread that will lead you out of... Didn't I already read this? <laughs> the thread that will help you to some... Okay. Yeah, I already read that. If I were you, I'd grab this chance with both hands, or else you'll soon be eyeing up asteroids to use as a new residence. In slightly less shitty news, we can go around and around this system till our heads are swimming as long as the Prometheum and supplies last. And if any thick as grok shit low lives come sniffing around, we'll be able to take them out. So don't worry about on that score. Master of Ordnance, what do you have to report? No, my job's simple. Maintain the arsenal and fire when I'm told. But just ask anyone, we've got no able crew, no Lord Captain. Master of Ordnance, you forget yourself. So what? The ship's in ruins. Every second officer's dead, and now we've got a green Lord Captain who's supposed to lead us to void knows where. Silence. Enforcers seize this mutineer. Get fucked, kid. Ooh, here we go. Stand down, release him. I have no intention of punishing a man for a moment of weakness, not after the terrible attacks we have endured. Uh, if only one officer out of the whole lot has fallen to pieces, then that's not bad at all. Your lordship, I do humbly apologize on behalf of the entire crew. What would you have us do with the Master of Ordnance, the former Master of Ordnance, I should say, besides finding a replacement, that is for we already have one lined up. No, stand down. Cease your sniveling. You disgraced yourself and your entire clan enough. The heretics are over. Uh, let us resume. Master Ordnance stands up, wiping the blood from his broken nose. His face is a picture of shock. What just happened seemed to be dawning on him only now and the knowledge of the fate he so narrowly escaped. To summarize, we have sustained serious losses in crew members and we require a new engine seer prime and navigator. Is that all that's preventing us from continuing the voyage? Precisely, Lord Captain, but bear in mind that this will not be the end of our trials. The ship's system must be properly inspected for major damage, which can only be carried out by the footfall stage at the footfall station, home of the only dockyard in the sector. But we will never reach footfall if without first solving these three immediate problems. What can you tell me about the system we currently find ourselves in? I can I CD. I don't even know what the fuck that says. To the Vox Master at this point. Uh, we are in the Rikard Star System. The voyage home here was undertaken on the orders of your Lordship predecessor. Uh, there are three inhabited bodies in the solar system, and our attempts to send Vox messages have produced confounding results. The Navis Nobelite Station is not si has not simply failed to answer. It seems to be maintaining total Vox silence. However, we did receive a distress signal from the prison planet toyed in the system, and Rikard Min Minoris Minoris itself is not responding to our hails. But what is most alarming is that the augers have intercepted signals in the surface that seem to indicate ongoing hostilities on the planet. Sensor technology that allows void ships to scan planets spot enemies and obtain various other kinds of crucial data for what 
at great distances. Okay. Situation is not very encouraging, but without a navigator and a tech priest and the new crew members, we won't be able to travel anywhere. Therefore, we must go to the planet and the Navis Nobleite station and find out what in the void is going on. Thank you for all your reports. You were dismissed. Your Lordship, there is one other thing, the confidential matter of utmost importance. Lady Theodora, your esteemed, your eternally esteemed predecessor brought this ship here to the system for a reason. She was given a secret commission. You perhaps are wondering who has the authority to commission a rogue trader to do anything? Well, I shall tell you the Lord Inquisitor in the hand of the Emperor, the chief architect of his will in the Kronos Expanse came across this letter you're referring to this note i presume xavier calcazar lady theodora was to speak with the lord inquisitor's right hand man uh, one henrichs heinrichs von kallox an inter interrogator you understand an integrator whatever uh, <laughs> I know is all he's somewhere in this system, but we must find him and offer whatever assistance he requires and then deliver him to footfall in the fla blah 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 system. Uh, finding him without any more information to go on is a difficult indeed, but the Inquisitor has important is an important individual. The authorities in this system, either the Navis Nobleite or the governor of Rikard Minor, may know something. That is all of it, your lordship. We have a great deal of work ahead of you, but it is mere a mere taste of the daily burden of the rogue trader. Soon you must take up the reins of the Von Valencia Protectorate. Adira, Sister Argenta, explain yourselves. The Psyker is suffering some ailment, the dark or dark madness. Uh, see, she insisted on seeing the rogue trader. I judged that it would be unwise to leave her unsupervised. I was hoping to approach you with a personal request, but it can wait. Speak with me when you have time, rogue trader. Daybreak. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing of value to report. Adira, come to your senses. Damn it, your lordship. Here's the thing. I was trying to see the immediate future, and you hit, it hit me so hard. My head is still spinning. Something very strange is headed our way, and I can't make out what it is, no matter how hard I try. A single word is all I can make out. Daybreak, or even maybe it's dawn. And it's ringing and ringing like an echo, like a bell. But if it's daybreak, then what? Why is it so dark? We can extract any. We cannot extract any information from of a value of a single word. Uh, can you tell us anything else, Mister Tlas? No, not any. Not yet, anyway. The voices are going berserk, all shouting at once. I can't make sense of any of it. As soon as I know, or sense some since anything i'll report in after all i'll report it all right uh lord captain if you want to take a closer look into the future find me on the bridge and we can talk lady theodora was well served by my whispers on many occasions and sure i'm sure you would benefit from them as well if there's nothing else of value to report i declare brief and conclude it's time to get to work All right. Use a system map in the crew to give orders. Okay. Well, holy crap. We are here on the bridge. Everybody's working so hard for little old Wilbur. But that is enough from me today. I'm going to call it there. This has been killer on my throat. <laughs> but I got to read everything. I'm reading everything. I'll see you in the next one.